Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is periodic labor force survey. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. The Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation recently released the Periodic Labor Force Survey 2024. This data provides crucial insights into India's evolving labor market dynamics across both rural and urban sectors. Now let's discuss about Periodic Labor Force Survey, PLFS. The PLFS was launched by the National Statistics Office in 2017 with the aim of generating labor force statistics at more frequent intervals. Objectives of PLFS to estimate key employment and unemployment indicators such as worker population ratio, labor force participation rate, and unemployment rate at three-month intervals for urban areas using the current weekly status approach. To estimate the same indicators annually for both rural and urban areas using both usual status, principal activity status, plus subsidiary economic activity status, and current weekly status approaches. Indicators Labor force participation rate the percentage of persons in the labor force employed or seeking employment in the total population. Worker population ratio, the percentage of employed persons in the total population. Unemployment rate, the percentage of unemployed persons among the total labor force. Activity status, usual status. This is based on the activity status over the last 365 days prior to the survey date. It considers principal activity status, the activity in which a person spends the majority of their time. Secondary economic activity status, any secondary economic activity performed for at least 30 days in the past year. Current weekly status, this approach captures the activity status over the seven days preceding the survey date. Now let's talk about key findings of the PLFS 2024. The unemployment rate in rural areas has slightly decreased from 4.3% to 4.2%. In urban areas, the labor force participation rate has risen from 50.3% to over 51%. Additionally, the worker population ratio has shown slight improvement, especially in urban areas where it increased from 47% to 47.6%. Now let's discuss about concerns regarding India's labor force gender gaps, stagnation in employment, youth unemployment, low productivity, rural employment dependence. Now lastly, moving on to what can be done to improve India's labor force? Bridge the skill industry, mismatch, drive formalization with inclusivity, institutionalize urban employment and mobility leverage, climate transition for job creation, design gendered labor reforms incentivize employers. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about periodic labor force survey. 1. The PLFS was launched by the Ministry of Labor and Employment in 2017. 2. It provides annual estimates for both rural and urban areas based on usual status and current weekly status approaches. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.